morning winners this is Sasha fearless here to let you know that you are beautiful and good enough to accomplish anything that you want in life in today's video we're gonna do something fun we're gonna do color on dreadlocks so this is Justin I believe I have two videos of him already on YouTube I showed you how I started his dreadlocks and I also showed you his eight month dreadlock retwist today Justin decided that he wanted to go lighter with his hair but he didn't want to go too bright he didn't want it to be too bold so we we settled on like a light brown honey blonde color one more thing i want to bring to your attention and that's a lock detox a detox is a deep cleanse for dreadlocks that takes out products dirt oil and whatnot and that is something that is great for people that are very active justin is a football player and i probably see him one to three times a year for a retwist so this is a service that will definitely definitely help him out a lot this is meant for stuff that is stuck in your hair that a regular shampoo just can't get out to color his hair today i'm not using color i'm using bleach and developer i'm using my bw2 by clearall and my 20 volume developer okay so keep in mind that he doesn't want it to be too bright that's why i'm using 20 volume developer also i'm using foil because foil helps to trap the heat and heat is what helps it to lighten faster Have you ever bleached somebody's hair before and bleach ended up in places it needed not be? <laughs> For instance, let's say you're doing ombre like this, right? And some bleach somehow ends up splashing on the roots, which always happens. Has that ever happened to you? Well, there's an easy way to fix it and it's quite simple, believe it or not. All you have to do is dab it off with a towel real quick, like right away, as soon as it happens. Wipe it off with a towel, maybe get a spray bottle with water and spray it real quickly and the color will not change. Alright, so when it comes to coloring hair with lightener, I wouldn't say go by a specific time. I'd say just add the lightener to the hair, right? And then continually check it until you get to the desired lightness. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through each foil to make sure that the hair is the lightness that I want it to be. Also, when I started, I lightened the hair in the back first before I got to the front. So it would make sense that the back would lighten faster than the front, right? When I washed Justin's hair out, I washed out the hair in the back first and then I left the ones in the front so they can finish processing to catch up to the back. Then I washed those out later. Mm -hmm. 
I know I have other videos on here of how I do my retwists, but for the hang of it, for the kick of it, you know, I'm just going to show you like a little bit of how I retwist this hair. I'd like to bring to your attention the buildup that is going on in Justin's dreadlocks. Now believe it or not, buildup is quite common in dreadlocks. Earlier in this video, I mentioned something called a dreadlocks detox. Now that is a great, great, amazing service that will remove excess buildup in locks, all right? Now keep in mind that Justin is a football player and I see him, I believe, about three or so times a year okay so he comes in for appointments three or so times a year so i don't get to see him as often as i'd like but justin is definitely a great candidate for a detox leave a comment and let me know if you'd like to see a video on how i do his detox because i can guarantee you if you are someone that has build up in your locks or just gunk and dirt that a regular shampoo can't seem to get out, a detox will definitely do the trick.